A trip to woodland. Retold by Jane and Sarah Brearley. Illustrations by Tony Wolf. The Goosenags. The Goosenags. Bzzz, bzzz. The elves were not the only unknown inhabitants of the forest. Bzzz. A crack mysteriously appeared in the track of a large tree cut from the inside out. When it was complete, out scrambled a swarm of white-haired elves, all dressed in black. The Goosenags. <laughs> They had been locked up in the tree for 500 years, but had finally broken the spell. A wizard had originally banished them to Black Elder Wood for their evil deeds. They lived to hunt, armed with a blowpipe for firing dandelion fluff poison arrows. They were the deadliest creatures in the forest. Clover, the carpenter gnome, was their first victim. He had been inspecting trees in the wood for lumber. He crashed to the ground as the slipping poison took effect. The goosenecks dragged him off and tied him up with dandelion ropes. In the meantime, the village folk were beginning to wonder what had happened to Clover. Just as they were about to send out a search party, a pair of goosenecks marched into the village holding a white flag. Bzzz, bzzz. Who are they? asked Redbeard. And what are they saying? echoed Crocus. Annoyed at not being understood, the goosenags began to buzz even louder and to hop up and down with rage. <laughs> Keep calm, commanded Pinecone. Run and get Ginger. He may know their language as they seem to be elves. Ginger rushed up and quickly translated the requests. They've kidnapped Clover and they demand a ransom of a hundred cakes. Very well, agreed Crocus. Ask for twenty-four hours so we can bake them. They agree, reported Ginger. But no tricks or else we'll never see Clover again. A general meeting was called. The gnomes and the woodland folk concluded that they could not let themselves be blackmailed nor could they trust the owner of the goosenags. They'd have to give the goosenags a dose of their own trickery. Vinegar came up with a plan. Let's pretend to prepare the ransom, then track the goosenags back to their hideout and free Clover. That night, Vinegar, Redbeard, Cowslip, and Frog prepared themselves for action. Once they were well camouflaged, they crept quietly into Black Elder Wood. This way, whispered Vinegar, following the gooseneck's footprints. Not a sound or they'll hear us, added Frog. In the distance could be seen a glow like the light of a fire, and a buzzing noise could be heard. It's the Goosenags war chant, said Vinegar. As they approached, they could see the Goosenags ready for war. Some were dancing around a totem pole, others were mixing a slimy green liquid and preparing the deadly arrows. The strong fumes drifted toward the four rescuers. That smell, it's slipping poppy, said Cowslip, so that's how they do it. Now's our chance, arched Frog. While the goosenecks are distracted, we can free Clover. Once all five were safely back in the village, the heroes told Pinecone and Crocus about the sleeping poison. These two pored over their magic books all night long. In the morning, they announced, 
We've found the antidote. Splendid! exclaimed Clover, is still rather groggy after his adventure. What is it? You'll never guess. Onions! What? chorus the others. Yes, if you eat lots of onions, the goosenags can't harm you with their arrows. The smell will drive them away, remarked Black Rat. Ugh, that's quite a price to pay for safety. All the woodland folk began to collect onion juice provided by Pinecone. Come along, there's plenty for everyone. We've got to have a large supply on hand. The goosenags can attack at any time. But the villagers were well prepared. Not only had each one taken a good dose of the onion antidote, but the elves had hit upon a plan to get rid of the goosenags once and for all. The Mouse Sisters had sewn a black suit for vinegar so that he looked just like one of the enemy, once Crocus's magic ring had shrunk him down to size. Pinecone gave him a magic horn that would be the goosenags undoing. As the black warriors invaded the village, Vinegar began to sound his horn. The goosenags fell into line behind him and began to follow Vinegar as the music lured them on. They left the village and proceeded to the enchanted stream. Vinegar was protected by a magic spell, but as the goosenags entered the water, they were transformed into red and black striped fish. In no time at all, not a single goosenag remained. <laughs>